Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial video. Today I will explain to you my techniques and recipe for painting the yellow armor for one of my Shovel Knight board game miniature. In the case of yellow, I start with magenta instead. You'll see why and how the yellow transform it during this video. I start with AK's Volcanic Yellow, a yellow with a slight orange tint. Applying yellow with a brush takes longer than with other colors. I apply the color by quickly dabbing it where the light hits the armor the most, while leaving areas of shadow with magenta. I move to other sections, then come back to apply another coat of yellow where the light is most concentrated. I motion the brush when there is almost no paint left on it to create a light glaze. I pass over the magenta with its translucent texture and push a color towards the bright areas of the arm. As I do so, the magenta takes on an orange hue from the mix with volcanic yellow. Then, using AK's yellow, I establish luminosity throughout the armor. 
As yellow is already a translucent color, it's easier to work with now that the base is well established. With ivory, I outline the points where the light hits the armor directly. Once the outline is complete, I use radiant yellow as a glaze to not only cover the ivory, but even partially overlay the yellow. As I mentioned earlier, yellows are translucent paints. So it is easiest to apply them directly over a lighter color like ivory or white to bring out its luminosity. By doing so, you can also create a gradation between colors much more easily than by applying an infinite number of layers. Next, I return with ivory to redefine the light focus points.
here, I wanted to taste AK's new deep shades, Human Skin. The reason for my choice was because it was a desaturated orange, almost peach, hue. I thought the color blended well with the magenta and yellow. However, I didn't want the color to be too strong. So, I diluted the shade with AK's medium to make it more translucent. I tried to avoid going over the brighter areas, as I'm satisfied with the colors on them. The result is a filter that accentuates shaded areas and enhances the gradation from light yellow to orange pink. I hope you enjoyed my explanations. I invite you to send me your comments and ideas for future tutorials. Thank you for liking this video. Subscribe to my channel to support my work and help me produce more content to help you back with your projects. Enjoy!